the sheep are mad I didn't get them fed. I mean, I guess I could put the other end of the stall. more convenient to let you sleep last night. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. yeah, I can see the stack coming from her tail. You gonna, you gonna care if I go in there? I don't think you will at this point. Early. The food's still in my car, just in the back. I thought coming in here was more important than feeding the sheep. Kayla has gone out to feed the sheep since I've got the live going. So no they will be fed, just not this moment. I know it's uncomfortable. It's a good girl. She probably won't. I mean, okay. just be aware, of course, if she moves, move. <laughs> Obviously. If she was any further this way, I wouldn't want to because there's, and there's not room for her legs. Yeah. Good girl. Head and the shoulders are the hardest part. Yeah. So you can see the nose starting to come out there. I see that. Yeah. Uh, nose is starting to come out. Yeah. 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 I think I see a little white like nostril. No, uh, just above the nostril, I think. Like, kind of centered. It's hard, isn't it? Hi. We just talk about on feed how they normally will take breaks between contractions. Yeah, she's been uncomfortable all night and she's finally gotten down to business. 
None of us really got much sleep last night watching her. Now, for those of you that watched key falling, some go very quick, others take a bit more time, but we're still well within the normal range and normal procedures for falling. It's normal for them to push a bit and then take a break as their contractions come in waves. You can see the front legs have come out there now. She's working on the nose, head and shoulders. And we know this mare is comfortable with us and comfortable with people around, which is why we're not concerned about being in the stall with her. We're not stressing her out. We're not worrying her. I know it feels weird, doesn't it? Taking another little breather. I just need to adjust myself so my foot doesn't go to sleep. Once she starts, the water breaks and the foal starts coming out, it should be born within 30 minutes. So at this point, we're probably only maybe five minutes in. Um, so we're nowhere near the point of having to intervene right now. I say key just went really fast and some mares do and other mares take their time. Yes, this is her first, so she is a maiden mare. I know it feels weird. <laughs> but that doesn't help. <laughs> it's a good girl. I know. It's going to throw all the bedding at me. So even though we trust her, we are in the stall where she's falling especially, we will take extra caution and watch out where she's moving, her legs are moving, just in case. It does look on the camera like I am closer to her than I actually am. I am well outside the kick zone right now. You're gonna get up and reposition. I know, big stretch. And that can be two. Sometimes they need to get up, readjust, find a position that works for them better. Try to figure out what in the world's going on. <laughs> but I like snacks. Yeah. I like snacks. Yeah, we'll get a close up of her slippers once the bullfoal is born. And she's out of the sack and everything. Like, you oh, don't get gosh. to escape out the door, I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta stay in. Sorry. Good girl. Good sweet girl. You don't want to. This is weird. Why aren't you helping me? <laughs> She's like, what is this? Good girl. Lick you, lick you. Good girl. girl. Trying to find the position that she wants to be in. Mm, 
You should probably lay down, sweetheart. Yeah. You're not a giraffe. I don't want to catch the baby. Yeah. <laughs> you want to block the door? Do have to catch the baby? Do. Yeah. <laughs> baby. So now we're just watching to make sure she doesn't decide to fall up standing. And if she does, we will assist the fall to the ground so it doesn't just go plop. Once the fall alert goes off and the sack starts coming out, her, the fall should be on the ground within 30 minutes. Some horses do try to give birth setting up, but standing up, it's just not normal like it is with some other animals like giraffes. She is not our first mare to try to give birth standing up. Lay back down, my darling. You're gonna be good. Don't want to catch the baby. <laughs> Maybe if we step out for a second and just give her some more room. She says, I want to give you a close up of my shoulder. <laughs> Yes, horses can pause their labor, but not at this point. Once the water has broken and the foal has started to come out, they cannot pause their labor at this point. Also, we know her, this mare, and she is more than comfortable with us around her, so there is less chance that she would have paused her labor with people around because she is comfortable. And now I'm going to move slightly out of the corner and stand up. Yeah, do you want to just move towards the hay net there? I see face Yeah, so I'm going to just, well, I'm going to stay here because now that she's stretched out. There we go. Good girl. You're making good progress now. Yeah. She did pick an awkward angle for her length in the stall, but you know. That's good. That's good. How earthy are the It says... Because we're both heterozygous black, apparently. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Yeah. Almost. Making progress. Almost. And the shoulders are probably the hardest yeah. part. There comes the shoulders. Yeah. Girl, Careful. Girl. There you Girl. go. Then I'm gonna move the baby. Yeah. And Kayla is gonna shift the baby so it's a little bit away. Yeah. Towels. They're in that bin, please. Which bin? The one that all the hay nets are on top of. So is that a red? It's a red. It looks, looks like, like a Palomino, Palomino to me. Just know I'm too focused on getting towels. <laughs> yeah. So the Towel baby's out. Fine. We're gonna grab some towels and help dry her off. Mom is taking a well-deserved break. Baby's not quite fully out yet. Hind legs are still a little bit inside. <laughs> move the baby away from the wall. Normally we wouldn't move, but so just go slow. Come yeah. wide. Easy, Lola. Easy, Easy sweetheart. Towel. Mom's here. No, grandma's here. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, right now it looks like a little Palomino. There you go. Good girl. Goodness gracious. Good girl. Yeah. Goodness I know, what's that? Yeah, what is that? Oh That's for you. Small, <laughs> it's in all 
the issues, yeah. Let's push it up against the wall. <laughs> you did so well. Baby Mom. says, Why am I cold? Oh, yeah. You did so <laughs> well. Mom. Cold and smushed. Yeah, you can walk, but you can't kick her. You can't. Says, well, I didn't try to kick her. I just no, kind of had to try to have her against the wall. Yeah, I was just trying to move my legs. Girl. So we've got a little Palomino filly by the looks of things. I wanted a girl. They say Nayla's getting cuddles from a grandma. Taking a nice rest. And I say we're gonna just reposition the foal a little bit, get her a little bit further away from the wall since mom was so kind and put her against the wall. And it's way easier to move the foal than it is to move the mare because the mare is substantially bigger. <laughs> we like it when the mares stay down and resting after foaling. Gives them a time to rest and relax. Get some of that energy back up that they just spent. And you don't need to really worry about hurting her, Dakota. Okay. <laughs> you want to get her clean and dry. Best sight in my life right here. <laughs> here, have some food. Yummy. You did it all by yourself. Oh, oh, like, and now mom is having her birth reward, which is a snack. <laughs> So I leave yeah, it on so the, the umbilical is still attached, so you can okay. take the sack off the legs, but don't pull on the umbilical. And that's the only reason why I haven't moved her further away is because we want them to lay there as long as possible. Right? Yeah. If and if you can't from the mama. get the sack moved without yeah. touching the umbilical, no, just leave it. It's not going to hurt her. Get the rest of her clean and dry. She's got a star like nails. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping she would. Starting a little bit of a strip by the start of it. Yeah. Well, a dad doesn't have anything, so. <laughs> and then Kayla's coming in and she's going to try to start taking out some of the wet bedding. And then we will replace it with dry, clean bedding so neither Nayla nor the foal gets chilled. And then once that's all done, we'll get a hay bed on top of that. This was way too convenient. <laughs> After four nights. <laughs> no, I mean like during the day. Yeah. This person said you should call her mayhem for all the chaos she's mayhem. caused the last couple of days. <laughs> waiting. They're yeah, waiting all day. She just wanted to wait for a spring. Yeah. I didn't want to be born in winter. Oh. You're trying to try to get up already? Not up against the wall. It won't work so well. Up against the wall. If there's going to be anything like me, it's uh -oh. going to be a handful. Yep. There you go. So we don't want to twist her away too much because okay. I prefer them. I just them... wanted her a little bit. Of well, so I prefer the mum to get up and be the one to break the cord. Okay. Rather than the foal getting up to break the cord. Just didn't want her banging her head. Yeah. Whatever, you guys can take care of it now. I'm busy eating. I'm busy eating. I've had that thing for over 11 months. <laughs> your turn. She just passed her placenta. Oh, <laughs> nice name. Uh, so, so that we're going to have to cut the cord. <laughs> <laughs> so normally, if it's still inside when they get up, when the chair stands, it'll break it. If not, we have to tension and cut. So when you do the cord, it's a twist, right? No, no we cut. It's it a cut, cut, but it's a, oh. it's a separate... Dead and not. Yeah. So okay. we tie off the dental floss in two places. Okay. Um, and then you cut in the center. Okay. Okay. You want to. Here, I'll be right back. Well, I guess you're allowed to move now. I don't know. I got a cup of tea, baby. Yeah. So that's why Kayla just went to the other property because we didn't bring that over in this folding kit. Where's your cold? Yeah. So the more we can rub her and start drying her off, the better. It's a cold new world right now. <laughs> yes, it is, darling. And I say you don't really need to worry about hurting her with the rubbing. You'll be... She's tough. 
Punchy and then Uncle Adam. They're here. They're here. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> and you're not a babe. So Dad is wrong. <laughs> you are not and a babe. The keys no. Does she have the full slippers? They will all have the full slippers, and that basically protects the mare when they're giving birth. And then they'll start to wear off as she starts moving around. Okay, Yeah. Because if she doesn't have slippers, then they can rupture the inside of the mare. And we don't want yuckies in your nose. And she passed with the slippers. Oh, are you yuckies in your nose? I didn't even notice it. To coat, uh, no, actually, I'll go get it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, you can just keep, no, I'm just going to go get another blanket to put on her. There should be more towels in that black bin to your right. There is. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep, there is. We basically just want to towel her off like we would towel off a human. A little stimulation, probably not bad. Nope. Oh, these are cold towels. Good thing. Because it's the movement that's going to warm her. I know. If you want to flip it over and let her have the dry side of that, or put the one on her. Males don't really even get that sweaty. No, and some don't. Go a little bit on the neck. Yeah. You were not cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, but to a different four-legged creature. creature. <laughs> I'm just hearing two hours. <laughs> well, I was asleep, and Mom was like, did you get the alarm? I was like, no, no, I said she's having her baby, and you hung up on me immediately. <laughs> and then the, the alarm went off. We just so happened to go on, and then, and then they were like, I think she's contracting. And then it was like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so Alan and I were like, yes, we're heading there now. Poor Ahsoka, I picked her up off the bed, turfed her in the kennel, closed the door, and ran out of the house. <laughs> Yeah. Here's another one. I thought it was a chestnut. I was like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fuzz. Mm -hmm. Says no, I am too light to be a chestnut. <laughs> Which is fine. I wanted yeah. a palomino anyway, so. And you got your wish. That's a good thing. Oh. Well we just keep rubbing, like, keep drying her. I say we like it when the mum rests and takes it easy when she's giving birth. She needs to get her strength back. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is good food. So Nayla passed, passed her placenta already while she was laying down, which means the cord is not going to break when she stands up, which means we need to take care of it. So we've got little clamps that we're going to put on either side. Once we get her legs free. Layer down. We're gonna lay the baby down, clamp off the umbilical. I know, this is not gonna be great. I know. I know. Here, you don't get the help, just hang on. Just hang on. And she's like, what are you doing? This is weird. I'm gonna clamp it off. Just wait, just wait. Just wait. When the clamps want to stick. I say normally your umbilical cord would break when the mare stands up, but when they've already passed the placenta, it does not. Okay, 
is just gonna go in and cut below where it's clamped. Tie it off with some dental floss because she was squiggling around and the clamp didn't want to stick. Don't kick the hill. Don't kick the hill. She's already a Nayla. She's already a Nayla. Yeah. I'm tying that off. Feel great. No, it's okay. It's okay. I know it feels weird. What are they doing? Those of you just tuning in, Nayla has already passed her placenta, which means when she stands up, the umbilical is not going to break. So now we need to break it off first. So we're tying it in two spots so that we can get it closed off and then we will cut it between the two spots that we have tied and of course she's not quite sure what we're doing and that's all right of course the more she moves around the harder it is for us to tie and that's okay we'll get it done you want to tie nice and tight you need a challenge right yeah that's why kayla's in charge of this part because i can't tie right now <laughs> My feet little hard for you. Good girl. Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah. Almost done. I'm gonna tie it nice and tight so everything's sealed off before we cut it. It's too early to do barrels. They're not even set up. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Be free in a moment. He says, I want to be free now. Which our stuff on. Is that your fastest placenta? <laughs> yeah. All tied off, ready to cut. Feels like, I want to be done with this. <laughs> Scissors and a little bit of betadine, make sure they're nice and clean. Now it's all cut. And now Kayla will dip the stump. Make sure it's nice yeah. and sanitized. Good job. Good job, kid. Yay. Oh my goodness. Girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be free. Goodness <laughs> <laughs> gracious. <laughs> Cool. I'd really like to get out of this corner nail it. Maybe I'll take your feet tub with me. these? That's a hippomane. Oh. I'm coming in behind you. I'm going to say you're supposed to throw it up in your barn roof and it's supposed to be good luck or something. Oh. <laughs> 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 I do want to see this. <laughs> Just <laughs> Some of you were asking for a close-up of her slippers, so we're going to see what we can get while she's moving around. There it is. Your tail. You can see stay there for baby. how the hoof is elongated. So the hoof ends here, yeah, and the rest is all slipper. And you can see kind of how it's rubbery, and that will wear off. You can see them. Yeah. On her back feet, too. You got a baby girl, but you stay there because baby's right underneath your bum. No rolling. No rolling. You can roll, but mama can't. Oh, you're free to do whatever you want. You can play around with it. Yeah. Basically, that's the whole rushing through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. They've got the placenta out of the stall. They're just checking to make sure there's no rips, no tears, except of course where the pole came out. Everything looks good. I want to make sure everything looks healthy. Good girl. You did. No, stay. You're fine. You stay for a minute. Relax. Relax. Just roll, honey. Just roll, baby. You were in the corner and bring your baby to your head, but. Yeah. She's like, it was time. Come on, I waited four yeah. days. <laughs> you stay me. You stay me. 
No, neither of the parents are paints. This is an outside mare and both parents are solid. The mom is a bay dun and the dad is a buckskin. Yes, I took her feed tub out. I moved that when I moved. You need some traction, honey? <laughs> good girl. And usually they're pretty good about knowing where their foal is. Yeah, they'll get their legs in all sorts of interesting positions. Dakota. Look at her legs, her front legs. You're not gonna get up that way, honey. You wanna straighten her legs out, Coda. Because no, okay. it's really tempting to step in and help, yeah, but. <laughs> We're not gonna be here all the time. If they get really twisted, we'll help them, yeah. but. Okay, it's okay, Nate. Just wait, just wait. No, not this. <laughs> Busy. Busy right now. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Come here, see, you if she hadn't figured out how to stand within an hour of being on the ground, then we help her. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we've still got a lot of time before that. We're gonna move the baby back a little bit so it's safer for Naila to get up where we had to move her. Naila right. yeah. can come up. Get up, Mama. Now that you're not gonna smoosh your baby. What up? Since I don't know. Papa, good job. This comes to you, baby. Okay. Since I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying a nap now. It's more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I got way more room for my organs. <laughs> and more food. Maybe like I'll just stay here. Fart every time I breathe. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna get on, Mama? She's like, oh, but this rest is kind of nice. Oh, yeah, just like with most species, when they born, they're more pliable and flexible. So there's no concern as she's figuring out her legs here that she's gonna break anything. He's coming for you. <laughs> Nayla is a maiden mare, so this is her first foal. So we're gonna grim her, dry her off a bit more. Waiting for Nayla to decide she wants to get off. Again, we like it when the mares relax and conserve their energy after foaling. Makes them stronger. Good job. Are you my mommy? <laughs> no. <laughs> you're a human mommy. Yeah, the foals have really long legs when they're born. And they get more proportional as they get older. starting to put down the hay bed and we give all the mares a hay bed after they pull and that way it does a couple different things. It acts as insulation and keeps things warm. It also is a good source of energy and food for the foal or for the mare and that way if the mare is concerned about where the foal is she can eat wherever she's standing. She was probably born about 10 minutes ago and I don't know what time it is so. 10 o'clock or no? Probably 
quarter to 10, 10 o'clock-ish. Or quarter to 10-ish would be my guess. Oh, goodness gracious. He's squiggling around. Unfortunately, I cannot see the time on my phone right now. <laughs> Jennifer says she was born at about 940. Okay. So, you know, my spring 15... baby. Yeah. <laughs> First day of spring. You're a big girl. Because he didn't show it. He says, well, I'm a big girl too. I have lots of room for things to hide. <laughs> There's no, it's nap time. You guys can take care of the pool. I'm yeah, busy. I did my job. Now it's your turn. I'm busy napping. You guys can take care of the baby. Yeah, you want to come see? Want to come see? You gotta be curious. You better be curious. We have mats under the fresh bed right now. We do not use straw as bedding because around here, we don't get a good drawing time. So our straw is not food grade. It tends to be very dusty. So once they have fold, we start putting down a hay bed, which you can see we're starting down back. And that way it can act as good nutrition for the mare and still give them insulation and grip. Come on. Come on. Don't want to. Wants to stay napping. Why do we have rough four? Yes, and a lots of places do use straw, and it's around here, as I say, it just tends to be very dusty and would not be good for them to eat or to inhale any of it. So we prefer to use hay. Good luck, so then you're gonna okay. Yes, yeah, so Palomino is coloring with her breeding. So both of her parents, her mom and dad, are bay based. Since the foal looks to be Palomino, that would mean that they are each heterozygous for black. So they carry one copy of black and one copy of red. And the baby got red from both parents. I know. You're going to get up if you want to see a baby. Come on. You're going to get up. She's like, nah. Come on. She's like, I can reach this. I got food. Come on, baby. I can't rock her nap while she'll get up. Girl. Okay. Now she's coming up. Good girl. Yep, and then we'll just. Yeah. And then now we'll all step out and come to the room. And meet your baby. So Nayla's gotten out. So we're going to move back a little bit, let her come over and see her baby until she gets distracted by the hay. <coughs> she likes her food. Yeah, what's that thing? Where'd it come from? Okay, well, if you're that close, I can't see anything. Oh, mama. There we go. <laughs> we can definitely see at some point, maybe after foaling season is done, about getting a video tutorial on coloring done up. <laughs> There's a lot. There is a lot of information. Good mama. Girl. Good mama.
The mom and the baby will continue to bond over the next couple of days and weeks and months. They're doing well. They're getting to know each other now. And he says no, but I might think we're trying to get out the door. <laughs> I know legs are confusing, aren't they? Nayla is very happy that she now gets floor breakfast in bed. She doesn't even have to move all the way to her hay to get her more food. Yours. Here you go, girl. This is not one of our paint or quarter horse foals, so I do not know what her pedigree is right off the top of my head. is Doc Smart Badger. I'm listening as to other people telling me this because I don't know. <laughs> Dad doesn't know. No. <laughs> don't tell Krista that. Sorry, Krista. Dad doesn't know. <laughs> Played this for a little time. Girl. <laughs> On the baby? Yeah. I wouldn't until Nayla's licked her a bit more. <laughs> yep, some mares and maidens and otherwise can be unsure when the foal starts to nurse, but we're not to that point yet. She's pretty good about us handling her udder though. Doesn't mind too much. Moving slightly out of the way so we can get more hay in.
Yes, this is a Palomino Philly. Bless you. I don't know. They want to know if you have a name picked out, Dakota. River. I said her name is River. You know it smells weird, doesn't it? Dual purpose names are good. Yes. Because <laughs> then you don't have to figure that out. Yes. Yeah. I got a hay bed. Unless I have a training horse or a like border horse that we've squeezed in. Hi. And my two o'clock is Megan, so. Oh, Megan will be pumped. I'm sure that even if I had to reschedule, she would not be angry with me. Probably exactly the opposite. No, neither of the Hollies have pulled yet. Nayla was technically due first. Which is surprising. Nayla won the race. <laughs> I don't know how much for how far they'll get behind her. Hollies can lose one of his points. Yeah. Put in some shavings to block the water tub, just so the foal doesn't try to end up in it or try drinking the water because we want her drinking the mother's milk and using that for nourishment. Yeah, my plan was to dump it later because I couldn't pick it up myself earlier. I guess later is now. There's two jugs in here already, Kayla. Last I heard from her owners, the plan will this, this is her first and only foal, but this is the second foal born on the property this year. We ideally would like them to find their feet within the first hour. We are still well with outside that time frame. It's best for them to figure out their legs themselves. And she's quite bright, quite vigorous. Everything looks good.
Mom may lay down for another nap, and that's fine. Yeah. I think she definitely would have had her baby before if she knew she was going to get a hay bed. Yeah. Before my leg cramps. Okay. Nice <sighs> little blanket on her because it is still chilly out here. Still with you. you will get many different opinions on what is a safe age range for the mares to have a bull. A lot of it just depends on the health and condition of the mare. The mom is 22 this year. I'm just going to go to sleep. This is so nice. Not allowed to have a nap yet. Sorry. It is old for a maiden, but they had a vet exam and made sure everything was good reproductive-wise and health-wise before they bred her. We want the baby on their feet with a, in about an hour after birth. So we're coming up on that timeline. So we're going to start stimulating her a little bit more, see if we can get her on her feet. And then we want them nursing within an hour after that. That means you're going to have to get up again. So the foal was born about 9.40, 9.40, 9.45. We're just gonna, Kale is encouraging the foal, just moving her around a little bit. Massage your legs, help them relax and stretch out. Yep. Massaging your legs, letting them stretch out and relax, encouraging her to think about trying to stand up. Baby stuck reflectus reflex is starting to come. Just <laughs> oh, good mama. Mom okay, says I'm back open. up. Milk bar's open. Milk bar's open. You ready? Alright. <laughs> we'll do it this way then. Where she's quite content to stay sand laying, we're gonna 
Encourage her to come up. Find her feet. Realize that's a thing. Oh my God, it moves. <laughs> See what Nayla thinks about her standing baby. Yep. Hope the catch. Find its balance to start. And we will stay with them until we make sure she can get up and down on her own. It's like these are weird little wobbly sticks. Strange, weird, wobbly sticks. <laughs> I know, it smells funny, doesn't it, Nayla? Look for We personally not have not had a mare reject a foal. It does happen. At this point it does not look like Nayla is rejecting her foal. She's quite interested in it. She just thinks it smells a little bit weird. <laughs> We're just cleaning off Nayla's udder a little bit because she's got a bunch of stuff stuck all over it. Just so the I know it's cold. I know it's cold. Baby does not get a mouthful of gross and hay and shavings. already cleaned me this morning. Oh. <laughs> She's up moving around. She'll figure out her legs. She's got a good suck reflex going so she'll start looking for the udder when she has a little bit better control over her legs. She'll be more successful. Clean off Nayla's hind end too. Yeah, once we're done up here, we'll go check on the hollies oh, again. So <laughs> so I know it moves. Where's it going? <laughs> I have to check in with your mom and see how everything is. Taisha, her name is River. The owner had decided on a name before she was born. I like that 
That could have just been Nayla. <laughs> <laughs> This is not a Meadowbrook Stables foal. This is an outside foal that her owners brought her mom in to foal out so she could be monitored more closely. Meadowbrook Stables does sell foals. I might say this is not one of ours. She is never for sale. <laughs> Owners. Coming in. Right, I'm this. <laughs> You're getting there. Just. <laughs> I know what's got what's it got on. It's got a blanket on, doesn't it? <laughs> Move my camera angle so I don't get a shot of Kayla. <laughs> Look at removing Nayla's fall alert. So it's just a couple little quick sutures to come out. That was me, sorry. <laughs> Baby is moving around. No, I think it's just a good day. <laughs> Some merits prefer their babies ahead of them because it's easier for them to keep an eye on them to see where they are and to keep track of them. And that's, it can be maidens, that can be other mares in general. This baby's name is River. And you can see she's looking for the udder, just kind of in the wrong spot. She's up by the front legs instead of up by the back. She'll figure that out as she gets going. <laughs> And that's one of the reasons that we give them a hay bed. So if the mare is concerned about where the foal is and wanting to keep their eyes on the foal at all times and the foal ahead of them, they can eat wherever the foal is and not have to be in a specific spot in the stall. How's it look back there? Oh, she's got a good care. <laughs> The next one, pre-warm pipes. <laughs> Good girl. I know that's your baby. <laughs> no, the wall's in the way, isn't it? <laughs> Says, yeah, I'd like to go up to that side of my mommy, but there's a wall there and her legs there. Oh, maybe I can fit. Maybe I can fit. Poke her little head through. Good girl. Sorry guys, I just tried to fall over. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Bambi on ice, there we go. You got it. You were figuring out those wobbly sticks. Oh, 
I just need to move because my leg is going to sit. <laughs> no, I'm good because this way I can move around as I need to. Like when Neela just gives me her bumps. <laughs> Yes, we do stream all of our births. We have a live feed on YouTube up on our mares. And then we will do Facebook lives for the births. <laughs> so much more light. <laughs> Almost here. I love your baby. Good. Getting warmer. I know what is it, Nayla? <laughs> well, if they pull a key and have the full in less than three minutes and we don't quite get to the barn, we'll still start the Facebook Live once we get to the stall. <laughs> In this case, I would have started the Facebook Live sooner, but my phone was fighting me for starting the post. I do fit. <laughs> for now. <laughs> River and Keys Baby will not play together. River is, her mom is an outside mare and will be going home. He's baby will get to play with the two Holly's babies once they're eventually born. That will be up to the owners when they want to take them home. <laughs> this is the frustrating part for the human when you're watching them try to get to the udder. You thought the waiting for the birth was the frustrating part. No, this is the frustrating part. This takes four days. No. <laughs> it's not allowed to. There is human intervention if it takes that long. Oops. Don't kick your baby. Oh, that's not it. No. There's no there. But there might be. Oh, a head toss. <laughs> mm, very close to stepping on her foot. Mm. Not all the way through again. <laughs> You can't back out of the stall either, my darling. <laughs> We always keep the live stream goes until she is latched. There's no worry about that. Unless we have a power outage. And well, yeah, unless we have a power outage. <laughs> and in that case, that stops it. But it's a nice sunny day right now, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Close. 
says, hi, I'm going to come underneath again. Maybe between my mom's back legs. No, I'm not ready to yet. You're not allowed to back up anymore, Nayla, just FYI. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would honestly leave it dangling. Because the more they fuss with it now, okay. then they'll latch easier in the future. <laughs> yeah. I, I can work around the okay. yeah. yeah. No, you're good. <laughs> it's okay. Been there, done that. And then it's going to have a time launching in the future. Don't want to play that game. Hi, that tongue is adorable. <laughs> the tongue is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Clear it up. Yeah, the right neck on those legs right yesterday. There. That's not the milk you want. Oh, that's a little bit sour. <laughs> well, I cleaned her legs off when she was oh, in there okay. this morning, so. Yeah, and after I saw your pictures, I'm like, I'm shutting the whole nose in the Get. Hi. <laughs> that does not help. No. <laughs> but it could. Okay, can you take a step forward, please? The button. Yes, just go ahead. <laughs> just so you're not right in the doorway, so when she's looking for the udder, she doesn't end up out of the stall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming to see you. Stinky again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's working on finding the udder. <laughs> Says, but I want to keep my eyes on it. So we're gonna feel weird looking. Good girl. Nail is just having her tail cleaned a bit.
Oh, big sigh. <laughs> we don't tend to give our foals any vitamin E or selenium over here, no. A lot of the time, different areas will give different things to foals or other types of animals after they're born, depending on what their environment is deficient in. So if it's lacking anything. And our mares also are on a balanced diet. So we know the mare is getting enough of all the vitamins and minerals that they need. So they pass that along to the foal. My eyes on her. She's got a little bit of a hair on her teeth there. Mm. Baby, baby. <laughs> yes, it's a little pally filly, Reed. you. How rude. Good girl. You love your baby? Oh, did she touch you? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go towards the other end a little bit more there, Missy. No, the other end of the horse, not the other end of the leg. <laughs> I know, what's she doing? Good girl. <laughs> She's got a very good suck reflex going. Figuring out her legs. She likes to go under her mother as she does her circles.
hair on her from Nayla. Yeah. slippers are starting to come off. Yeah, and the more she moves around, yeah. the friction that will help them break away. The sire is a buckskin. So a bay horse with one cream jean. Don't walk through. Would you do that? She says, well, I need to go bring my head back a little bit first. We ideally want them to nurse within an hour of standing. Right now she's moving around great. She's putting in good effort to try to find the udder and has a good suck reflex. So we will let her keep trying. We try not to intervene unless we absolutely have to. She smells more like me now. <laughs> She's being a good girl for a first time, Mama. Turning around a bit just because she wants to keep forever in her eye line easily. <laughs> oh, that was a wall. Girl. So the flow mm -hmm. slippers are already starting to wear away. You can't really get a good look at them because she's moving around. But as she moves, the friction on the ground starts to help wear them away until they're completely gone. can't back out the door. Sorry, hon. The baby is trying to have a poop right now and she's a little bit distracted of trying to find the udder to poop. So we're going to give her a little bit of an enema just so she's not thinking about pooping anymore unless she gets it out by herself. She is still straining a bit. We do find sometimes if they're straining to poop, it will distract them from trying to nurse. So we have found it works best to just give them in the enema, then they can get the pooping out of the way and go back to finding the udder. And here, nail a knicker into her baby. So the owner is just blocking River so she can't go forward. Well, Kayla gives the enema. See, she doesn't really seem to care at all. 
I'm gonna take a little bit to work. Let her start moving around again, and then hopefully she can have her poop and get out, get back on with finding the gutter. It won't be the first or the last time. <laughs> I want to keep my eyes on it. She did poop a little bit, but there's a whole lot more poop in there. You would be surprised how much poop comes out. We do try to take the baby's manure out of the, and mucilomium out of the stall as soon as we can, because it is very tar-like and sticky and will get all over everything and make a nice big mess. <laughs> Does that smell funny, Nayla? Ooh. It does smell funny, doesn't it? Water in Nayla's water bucket. Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotta do circles first. No, that's a little bit of oh. a that come out. Yeah. Poop's coming out behind it. Get it on lip, kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the muconium tends to be dark sticky. and tar-like and sticky and gets all over everything. No, the father is a quarter horse. There's poops are hard. Yeah. And all that poop out. A couple little nuggets. There's somebody that, yeah, okay. You're ahead of me. Oh, it's starting to feel a little silly. <laughs> yes, the, this mare is a maiden, so she is currently circling a bit to keep her eyes on her foal. She has let the filly get up and try to touch the udder. She has not found it yet. If the mare does turn too much and the foal can't find the udder, we will hold the mare until the foal is able to nurse. But right now, everything is progressing normally. The trains here use horns when they're coming to crossings on the road. 
and there is a cro road crossing not too far from here. The rest of the time, they do not use their horns. <laughs> Got a good suck reflex going. And I say as she goes, she'll hopefully work her way back and find the udder. Whoops. It happens. Yeah, no, she did pretty good staying on her feet. Yeah. And the mirrors are usually pretty good about knowing where their foal is and not stepping on them or things like that. It's like, I don't know. That was an awful long, lot of work to get down. Yeah. No, she fell. She off balanced herself. But she's taking advantage of it now that she yeah. is down. Yeah. So we're going to encourage her to get back to her feet. Can you get up on your own this time? Can you do it? Yeah, you got the idea. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah, good job. Good job. Oh, that was a lot of work. There you go. Back to doing your laps. And then we'll go back and see about finding her feet again, finding the udder. It says, but maybe I want to take a nap. I have to poop. Yeah. Got distracted by having another poop. <laughs> Mom is doing a very good job of blocking her on me. Do you need the rest of your end enough? Oh, let me check. Do you see any time? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's another nugget. Anything come out? Yeah. Okay. I don't think she's done yet. No. Nope. I think there's more to come out. <laughs> wobbly sticks, wobbly. You can't escape with the door, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is she touching you?
Most sires do not interact with their foal? No, because most sires and ma their, the mares they are bred to do not live on the same property. So we're just putting a halter on Nayla because she does want to turn around. So she's encouraged to stay still a little bit so her foal can find the udder a bit easier. overshoot the runway and go behind. In theory. As she does just that. <laughs> yep. The human doesn't have any milk for you. I'm sorry, my darling. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go back to your mom. This is no, you taste good. I want to go underneath my mom. <laughs> this, this thing is weird, Mom. <laughs> No, get your little tongue going. Girl. No, she likes to go under her mother instead of stopping and seeing the udder. No, she's going to think about stopping. Will I fit nicely? Mm -hmm. yeah, I can move. Swing up against the wall there. Oh, sorry. Like right here. There. If I back into you, it's not on purpose. Stand on top of me if you want. Oh, 
want to keep a good eye on everything. I'm just trying to help Nayla encourage her to stand still and block all the wrong options that the foal keeps choosing because River thinks going under her mom is a good idea. Give the leg a good sniff. I know it's weird, Nayla. Yes, the owner of the mare has the mare's halter and at, at her head, and her mother is at the mare's bum. I'd rather put my head down than up. This is a Palomino Philly. Yes. She's my mommy, they're all for me. She says, well, like, I'm on the horse. I'm not trying to suck the wall. No, 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 the boys usually try to eat the walls. Yeah, the boys are dumb. They're, like, trying to nurse between the front legs. Like, no, dude, no. She does, like, keep, like, somewhat trying, but isn't, like, grasping right it. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It takes several times. Well, it's one of those things that, too, sometimes when they can easily fit under their mother and they're a little bit short compared to the other height, or sometimes if they're a little bit tall compared to the other height, they have oh, a harder time. I think we got it. I think we just oh. got it because it just felt new. And... Mm -hmm. Foxy does really... <laughs> No. no. Wasn't getting enough stuff over there. Oh, they're only getting hair. Nope, not me. 
turn that bus around there, kid. Nayla came in about the middle of February. You um, rub some on the teats there, and then at least they'll get the taste for. Oh. <laughs> Spray it on your head. Looking good, girl, Nayla. Turn yourself around. Good job. Yes, the owners are planning to keep River. How much of Nayla's life have you owned her? Since she was two. They have owned Nayla since she was two. 20 years. 20 years. I will ask you guys the questions that I don't know the answers to. <laughs> You're asking us the easy questions. <laughs> well. <laughs> going to the meat market. No. Yeah. Girl. I'd say they're pretty proud and happy. That's just my assumption, but you know. Nah. <laughs> Dakota really wanted a bay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did not. We like the fun colors. I know. This is her first baby, yes. And only. And only baby. One and done. Unless it was a day. <laughs> you guys are going to be really annoyed if dad was right, weren't you? <clears throat> He's the only boy in the house. We can't let him be right. <laughs> Nicker, 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 nicker. Say this is the most frustrating yes <laughs> she has not fully latched yet no she's been in the right area <laughs> I want to be on this side Was original mom. Oh. <laughs> and
We will stay and monitor mom and baby until we know that the baby has latched and is nursing well and everybody is comfortable. She has already passed her muconium. The mare has already passed her placenta. So those timelines are already met. The last thing we're waiting for is for River to latch and nurse. And I'm pretty sure her owners will be in the barn with her most of the day. Yes. <laughs> But there could be. Well, they might be here most of the night too, but I think uh, Dakota at least needs to get some sleep. Yes. <laughs> because Nayla has been playing with her since Saturday. She's being pretty patient, waiting for River to figure things out. I say we've just got her haltered because she wanted to turn around a bit and look at her full, which is completely understandable, but it was making it hard to have liver, River find the udder and things. At least with Nayla staying still, it is, she's got a better chance of finding things. And she says, I am more interested in investigating the humans. Coming up on the timeline, though, th that we're going to force the issue a bit and say, hey, you need to keep interacting with the udder because you need to have a drink. Kayla's going to step in and guide her back to the udder and see if we can help her find her way. Seeing if Nayla can just take a single step so her legs are a little bit more offset and that will help it have an easier landing track for the foal at the udder. So right now, anytime that river turns away and gets distracted, goes to look at something else, we're just gonna redirect her back towards the udder. where she's got a good suck reflex and she's generally in the right area when she's pointed that way. We will let her try a bit longer herself before we intervene anymore. I say this is probably the most frustrating part. And then let go. Like the 
Right. That's where cows are a little bit easier because where their teats are longer. Yeah. With horses with the shape of their udder and their teats, you have to wait a bit more for them to find the right angle to get the teat in their mouth. You can't just stick it in there as easily. All about finding the right angles and the right position. Yeah. See, the good thing is she's a really good suck reflex. Yeah. So once she latches, yeah, she'll be folded. Mm -hmm. Gently guide her back to the udder. Some foals take longer than others. Some foals latch really quickly. Just depends on the individual foal. She's in the right ballpark, just hasn't quite found the udder yet. Ready, 
So you can imagine how much more frustrated this is at like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. In the dark. In the cold. <clears throat> Yes, she was born about 9.40 this morning. This live video will be posted on our Facebook page. Once we finish filming it, there is also a live YouTube stream going. If you scroll backwards in the time clock, you would be able to see the birth. Um, but I say I can't post this until we're done the feed. Wrong leg, sweetheart. Get back up. There. No. Don't want to stand with that leg forward. She did cold hands in the Face 
Ann Wombolt says, the mama's mama says, congratulations, she is beautiful. <laughs> That's my grandmother. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, there's too many mamas in this conversation for me to be able to. <laughs> well, that, like I said, I keep saying mama. That's okay. I'm just like, do they mean hers or <laughs> yours or which Dakota one? was actually, I was pregnant with Dakota when I was riding her. Oh, there you go. Yes, her name is River. <laughs> like, I'll just read the message and tell the name, and you'll know what it means. <laughs> and said, so I'll ask you guys the hard questions that I don't know the answers to. got her latched <laughs> for a minute she lost it again yeah. just has to figure out the consistent right angle so we will stay with her until she's latching completely without us in the stall helping her i say it can take a little bit for different poles to find their angles She's got a better idea where she needs to hold her head now after she gotten that first little drink. That's what you get for being a tall. <laughs> She's a decent sized baby. Mm -hmm. It's usually harder for the foals that are like really tall compared yeah. to their mom because then they have to angle down and then back up. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird angle. Yeah. Another sweater and a jacket. I have a jacket. Okay. This is a pal Palomino Philly. Mm -hmm. So she is a red based horse with one cream jean. Nailis being a very good mom. I have a honey crisp apple for you, man. He's up in the park for five days. <laughs> <laughs> we had a helium balloon, which has since deflated. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. 
she's got to move her leg again. Yeah. She's walking. But I like moving my left leg better. It's like you guys are weird. <laughs> This is a live Facebook feed. There is also a, a live YouTube feed going. Once we have finished this feed, and we are going to wait till she has successfully latched a few times, then we will post it to our Facebook page, and you will be able to scroll back and find it then. Until the time that we have shut off this feed, the video will not be posted, except if you scroll back in the live Chugging noise yet, but she definitely thinks she has there. Mm -hmm. She's on. There we go. He's on again. See how long she stays there this time. Good girl. So she is latched. She was able to get on pretty much on herself this time, which is awesome. She's having a good long drink. And you can tell a lot of the time when they're latched fully because the sound of how they're drinking changes. You want to hear a good chugging sound? That's a long drink. Yeah. Yeah. I worked hard for yeah this. Once they finally get fully latched and are stable on it, then. Yeah. There you go. All timelines passed. Yeah. Perfect. Good, healthy baby girl. Good, healthy mama. So all of our timelines are passed. Nail is doing well. River is doing well. She's up. She's nursed. She's passed her muconium. Nayla has passed her placenta. <laughs> Everything is awesome. So we will probably shut off the feed here shortly. And as I say, the live YouTube stream will keep going. And we'll give Nayla and River some time to just to hang out by themselves and get used to each other and without the humans around. And we'll check back in with them later. Don't eat her ear. 
<laughs> and now that she's had a good latch, we'll let Nayla take her halter off because the baby's figured it out. So I say we had really just haltered her so that she could figure out the baby could figure out nursing while Nayla wasn't trying to move around to look at her. There's your celebration. There's your celebration. Nayla's getting a good job apple from grandma, <laughs> which she seems to love. It's been hanging out in the car for the past five days, which is how long she's been driving her owners crazy, if not longer. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna shut off the stream for now. As I say, it will be up on our Facebook page and oh, we're gonna have another poop by the looks of things. And we will see you when our next one is born, which will hopefully be soon. Anyway, enjoy your Wednesdays.